Here I've got a problem from an undergraduate math contest from the University of Illinois. And our goal is to find all continuous functions from negative 1, 1 to negative 1, 1, where those are both open intervals, satisfying two conditions. First, f of 0 equals 1. And second, f evaluated at x squared equals f of x divided by 1 plus x. So let's look at some hints built into the writing of this problem. First, since this domain and codomain are restricted to negative one to one, not including the endpoints, that means there's probably something bad going on at the endpoints. In other words, this function that satisfies this action is probably discontinuous at the endpoints, or at least one of the endpoints. I would maybe wager that it'll be discontinuous at x equals one, and that's just because there is badness in this functional equation at x equals minus 1. So we see from this functional equation why minus 1 cannot be included in the domain. So there must be a reason why x equals 1 can't. And again, it's probably because of that discontinuity. Then maybe another little hint, which is a little more nebulous, is what function f can be factored out of its composition with x squared pretty easily. Again, that's a little bit more nebulous and maybe just a hint to think about after you solve the problem. So let's maybe build off of this first hint to try the following guess, and that will be f of x equals, I'll call it f hat of x over one minus x. Now, a priori, we have no reason to believe that f of x should take this form, but since we expect some sort of discontinuity to happen at x equals one, just by the phrasing of the problem, this is a reasonable guess. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and calculate some things. So let's maybe plug x squared into this, and notice we get f of x squared equals f hat of x squared over one minus x squared. Okay, but then on the other hand, from our functional equation, we know that this is equal to f of x over one plus x. But now we can write down what f of x is, and we'll see that this gives us f hat of x over one minus x squared, like that. And again, that's just from substituting f of x with this f hat of x over one minus x and combining that denominator. And again, this pink arrow came from our functional equation. And this equality right here came from our assumption on the form of f of x. Okay, good. Now I wanna take these two parts and notice that that will imply that f hat of x is equal to f hat of x squared. We can just really eliminate this one minus x squared in the denominator term. And we can do that because that's never zero, obviously, because of our domain restriction over here. Okay, but if we've got f of x equals x squared, notice that is true for every x in this interval, including x squared itself. So we can keep applying this. We've got f hat of x equals x to the fourth, f hat of x evaluated at x to the eighth, up to f hat of x evaluated at x to the two to the n. Okay, cool. But now this is actually really, really helpful because the continuity of f of x implies that f hat of x is also continuous. Another thing that we know is that for all x on the interval minus one to one, x to the two to the n will approach zero as n approaches infinity. So that's pretty clear because we've got something that is in absolute values less than one. We keep multiplying that to itself and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's a pretty standard result. And now we'll notice that f hat of x is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of f hat of x, but f hat of x is equal to x to the two to the n. 
But then since f hat is continuous, we can bring this limit inside. But bringing this limit inside makes the argument charge to zero. So this is equal to f hat of zero. But then plugging zero up here, we see that f hat of zero is equal to one. So let's maybe look at the extreme left hand and right hand side of this equation that we've built. And we see that for all x between negative one and one, f hat of x is equal to one. So that means that our function f hat of x is just identically equal to one. It's the constant function one. So what that tells us is that our only solution is indeed one over one minus x. But now in order to finish this off, you need to check that f of x equals one over one minus x is continuous on this entire interval, but that's kind of obviously true. It's one at zero, but that's also true. And it satisfies this rule right here, which I'll let you guys check. And after doing that, not only do we know that there is a solution to this functional equation, but there is only one and it is this purple boxed function. And that's a good place to stop.